everybody. All right, guys, if you love these reviews, smash that like button, help our videos get seen some more. Thank you so much. All right, so today we're gonna to be talking about the ceiling drop trap. We've got okay. an absolutely gorgeous location for a base. The ceiling drop trap has uh, recently um, went through oops. a little bit of changes. It's been uh, it's been modified with the new game engine, making it so that it can now bounce when it hits the ground. The way it works is, the higher the trap is, the more it bounces, and the more it bounces, the more damage it does. Think of it as like. Uh, waves of a gas trap. You know how the gas trap does damage in waves? It's like pulse, 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 right? Well, yeah. now basically the tire trap does the same thing. The tire trap is going to hit four times if you put it at max height, doing absolutely colossal damage. It's crazy. This is how you build it. You just, uh, we're gonna show you, showcase the uh, the Ride the Lightning. Uh, this is our van, you just surround it with a wall. Uh, you put some floors around it. Can I build this bit it. here? You leave that bit. We, we're, gonna, we're gonna make this one a full two by two base. So we're just gonna go okay, like this. Okay, cool. So it's just a two by two base, really easy to understand. We're gonna put corners in. And uh, I think what I'm gonna do here means I'm gonna showcase two different sides of the base. I'm gonna showcase okay. one side of the base with uh, a gas trap method and one side mm -hmm. with a ceiling drop trap method because there's two different All ways right. that you can build this you can build it where you're just building nothing but ceiling drop just yeah. tons and tons of drop uh, or you can build it so that you have a combination of the two which is you know mm. theoretically more effective so here's right. how it works um, we're going to go and build this side is going to be the gas trap side so we're going to put trap gas side. traps okay right here and right here but on this side here we're going to use drop traps instead okay so watch how this works so if you're putting drop traps you don't want to put uh ceilings directly above what you want to do is you want mm -hmm. to build them up three high so we're going to do that we're going to go and build up so here to the top so this is how this works we're going to go up so we're going to get three high so one two three right three high okay. right there there's your three high right there Migs. so what we're going to do right. on this side is we're going to build we're actually going to go out, we'll go out three just for kicks okay there we go so we're also going to i think we're actually gonna we're going to open up the corners too we'll go like this okay there so basically put a put a roof wherever you're going to want to add damage right anywhere you want to put right tires you want to go and do that so we're going to go like this we're going to take some wood and build some i feel like over here. here it's they're not going to walk here Watch right this. here okay so here's how we do this so this is where we're going to place the tires right here okay we're going to go all the way out three three away and one to the side and then we're just going to remove this yeah that's easier go. nice and easy right yeah pretty simple so it's all connected mm -hmm. to this one spot we're gonna have to build this uh build this base oh geez metal please there we go <laughs> all mm -hmm. right so then on this side here sorry we're gonna i can't do, see i gotta get up these we're gonna actually have gas traps here now okay. the reason that the reason why you want to question whether or not you are using gas traps or not using gas traps is because um the gas traps can actually go over top of tar. Uh, the yeah. when you put when you put a tire trap over top of tar, the tire trap is actually going to trigger the tar when the enemies mm. are inside of it. So when the enemy steps into the tar and the the mm. the ceiling drop trap hits it, it's going to activate the tar. It's going to ignite right. the tar, uh, which yeah. you know is not and really great because if your if your tar gets ignited. Right? then smashers can just charge right through and that sucks right right yeah it stops so, them being stuck exactly okay. so haha -ha. hey okay, so I'm, <laughs> I'm just i'm just taking away the corners that's what i'm doing here okay and i'm going to take away this corner here okay 
and that way we have the spot for see the tires so they can hit the corners that way yeah, enemies okay. come in the shallow side then uh, they're here okay so now this one here we're going to build this one up sorry I'm not over there yet there Getting okay stuck. so so we have the one right next to to this is gonna be our gas trap layer and then all of this is gonna be our tire trap so we go boom boom we'll put a temporary okay. here we're gonna go here and here. So there we go, there's our full coverage. We'll just cut that off. And there okay. it is. Pretty cool, okay. right? So this side here, we're gonna have the gas here. We're gonna put yep. the... And we're gonna use tar on this side too, regardless, but knowing that it's going to ignite. We have to be aware that it, these are going to ignite the tar, right? Mm -hmm. But we're gonna do it anyway. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go like this. Just because of the terrain here, I'm gonna do something. Oh wow, go away. So I'm just gonna go like this, right? It's like, come on up, boys. Come upstairs, come up. <laughs> let's play. Now, if they if they spawn too close, they might blow this up, and that's fine. If they blow it up, they blow it up, it's no big deal. But uh, we're going to encourage them to come up here. It's like, come on up, come say hi. Yeah, okay, cool. Okay, so we're just gonna go tar. So th that's the way it works. They they basically step on here. It's gonna slow them right down, and they're just gonna get absolutely pummeled to yeah, death. Yeah, pummeled by repeated bouncing. It's just gonna bounce and bounce and bounce, and just hammer them and hammer them and hammer right. them. Uh, and it's gonna be funny. So uh, okay. we're gonna go like this. I want to make sure that they can get in here, right? Yeah. And then we're gonna go like this, like this just to separate the lanes as much as we can. Okay. Also, what this does is it allows you to put uh, broadside traps in between these, yeah, right? Yeah, true. So you can add, you can do additive damage. Uh, if I could, if I if I knew that the enemies were all gonna come up here, I would go and, I would, whoa. Oh no. Oh, that's gonna suck. But what we're also gonna do is we're gonna put a anti-air trap for some propane <laughs> right here. Yes. <laughs> Cause screw those guys. <laughs> yeah. All right. And then we're going to go and we're going to just tar up this whole area. Now, what we can also do, not that it's really going to matter because tar is going to trump all of this, but just in case the tar is down, I'm going to put spikes in front. Okay. Just to make sure that enemies that come in here are hopefully slowed. Hopefully. Right. So you're just trying to slow them down so the tire tracks Okay, so that's them. the difference, right? You have two different kinds. You have... Uh, the, the gas trap, which will actually not trigger the tar. This side will be much more resistant to smashers, right? Mm -hmm. Because you can guarantee that the tar is not gonna get triggered by your very own trap. And then you'll have yeah. these ones here, which this will just be a barrage of the tar exploding and burning them and the, yeah. the, the tires just hammering them and killing them. And it'll be, a, it'll be a mess. This side is gonna be actually much more damaging because the whole thing is gonna be exploding, burning, uh, as and instead of like, you know, being a really, really solid anti-smasher defense, which honestly either side is going to be pretty dangerous as an anti-smasher. Yeah. Team. You know, there it's just ferocious. The the amount of damage that this base is going to put out is going to shock you. <laughs> so how do we how do we close up the base? Okay, now? so we're just going to build the rest of the base just like normal. We'll just build it like our regular shot. base. I'm gonna I'm gonna take a screenshot for thumbnail mm. trying to find the best spot to take a screenshot I'm just gonna take down the scaffolding and build our regular regular design This is just a really, really effective design to use against, uh, well, everything, because it, 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 it really protects you from any issues from lobbers, because it has multi-layered right. defenses. Uh, so you're, yeah, you're protected all the way around. The only difference is now, this side is gonna be a sheer face, as you can see. Normally we go all the way around, and we have a nice protected covered area, where this Could one is going to side? be a lot more open, right? 
See? So this side's okay. open. Uh, this side here, you have the enclosed side with the open side. This one is completely open. So it's a lot, you know, a lot, lot more, it's a lot freer. Mm -hmm. It's a lot more visible. We don't really care about this side here. Enemy shouldn't really come up here, but we'll build it just in case. So we could actually build drop traps here to cover this side if we thought they were going to come around the back wall. And we're just going to tier three all of this. This is pretty insane, right? Yeah. This base absolutely just ruins enemies. Oh my god. Migs, this is just ridiculous. Look at this. Look at this mess. Well. Like, they're not even getting close. And this is. Remember, oh no, this a lover. Is, remember, Migs, this is completely without broadsides, right? You could also watch out for uh, the healers. The healers will totally mess up your traps. Oh man. Look like, look at the damage. Look at the damage. Look at look it's just oh my god. Boom. Boom. Just hits him again and again and again. It's basically just like a gas trap. Oh what's that? Healer? No 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 no. I put the the wall spikes on just as a you could I put wall launchers or wall spikes or whatever right. Uh, it doesn't really matter which one I pick. The wall sticker right. I have plus two building health on on the wall spikes on all my all my wall traps. So it just makes the wall sticker harder, more health, more more regeneration, and then it also does damage. If if the smashers come in and start taking shots at the wall, they're gonna hurt themselves. If a husky comes and takes a shot at the wall. Husky's gonna kill himself for sure. So I call what's that? Stop Smasher. In the name of love. Well, those tires are going crazy on that guy. Oh, we gotta say no to healers. Where is he? Where is the healer? Where is he? There he oh, is. Oh, you're in the way. Sorry, we killed that healer. He's being a little butt. But it's That's more than really just damage, really. though. It's also crowd control, right? Right, right. Like it, it, it doesn't just do a ton of damage. It straight up neutralizes the enemies. It, they can't do mm. anything. They're like between the tar traps and just the barrage of stun, stun, stun. They can't even move into yeah. the base. Most of them die in the first That's wave. Really the ones that get through to the second wave are like, oh. Host. Ugh. Mm -hmm. uh, we have two different two different variants yes. of tire Explain traps. Explain the two use. different tire traps. Right. So the one is a double reload speed. Uh, the advantage to this one is that it has a 6.5 second cooldown. It's, it fires okay. really, really fast. So very few things are ever going to get through without getting you know fairly pummeled by the trap. However, there is an 8.5 second version of this, which is significantly worse. Right. That's a lot. Mm -hmm. Two extra seconds is a long time when you're waiting on a trap to, to, to shoot. But the advantage to this is that it has a 46% chance to crit and it does, you know, crit, it has basically crit damage. Crit damage, double crit rate, one crit damage, reload speed, and durability. So this thing's going to hit a lot harder than when it crits. The crits are going to be really, really big. Um, and you, you have a you have a few different ways that you can build this, right? You could build it with one crit rate, one crit damage. If you wanted to put an extra damage on there, um, that'll make it so that the tower trap has significantly lower crit chance because it has a base crit of five percent. It's only going to have like a thirty-three percent chance to crit with a single crit rate, which is one third, which is okay, right? Uh, Forty-six percent is quite a bit higher, but again, you're lacking some of that damage. You're putting more of your your um, trust in the power of you know the crit, you know banking more on crit chance, and the likelihood of you getting you know payback even consistently on that is pretty good considering that it bounces four times, right? Four times means you have a lot of opportunities to do damage, right? It's going to hit and hit and hit and hit. You're going to get a lot of crits. You know, nearly half your yeah. half your attacks are going to crit, and you're going to do some pretty big damage. So the the, the damage is a lot bigger. Uh, when you when you put crit crit rate and crit damage on the trap, 
um, but the fire rate is a lot lower so the overall damage output uh, is going to be usually higher on uh, a double damage double double reload speed but you're likely to burn okay. the trap out the traps are going to run out of gas and, uh, and then you're going to have to replace them which you know is so actually no problem with the base that we set up here because we have the windows you just walk through boom walk through boom right upgrades are easy no yeah. problem so at what point would you use the the crit one like a uh, higher level match or yeah if you if you re if you need them to hit really really hard then uh, yeah you might need and the defense is kind of shorter so maybe evacuate the shelter i don't know for, yeah ba basically player. if you were if you had a lot like a lot of traps like not just like a mission here but if you're doing say uh endurance where you have mm -hmm. your traps you have a ton of traps and they're all you know just pummeling you want to do maximum damage overall right just super yeah. super high damage you don't want to burn up your trap and make it run out of gas you want to do huge amounts of damage per shot then you want to mm -hmm. maximize the crit rate crit damage output of your trap and uh you know, not worry so much about just like firing constantly all the time to do damage to every enemy. You can do tons of da yeah. you can do damage to every enemy, or you can do tons of damage to the enemies. You know, to a fewer mm -hmm. amount of enemies triggering the trap. So it's up to you right, how, right. how you want to balance that playstyle. Okay, that makes sense. All right. So and uh, yeah, it's it's good to go and do a perimeter, as you can see. Like do your all the way around the outside, right? That mm -hmm. way, if lovers hit something, they don't necessarily drop the roof, right? Because they've got traps, multiple, yeah. multiple connection points. Um, yeah. So, yeah, and then not a problem. And you got, and you also have mm -hmm. good scaffolding. This allows you to move around the base really easily uh, to go and like, you know, pull out snipe shots, hit who you need to hit, move around the base, get good. It's like a good sniper roost, right? You yeah. Have a lot of, yeah. A lot of freedom, a lot of flexibility to uh, pull the high ground.